specific. Yeah, okay. So, so we, we were just saying uh, about the, the main challenge about what we're trying to get around our heads is yeah. how, how do we source it? Can you say it again, Irvan? Sure. Uh, does my hair look okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, you know, um, so looking at the model, um, and this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, being an entrepreneur for uh, seven, eight years, so we've, we've experimented with, with tons of stuff. So I'll give my opinion, and I'm not saying my opinion is the only opinion or the best opinion, but I'm just going to give you my opinion and my experience. One of the, one of the first things that um, is we need to ensure is how are we going to source those opportunities, those tasks, those roles, mm -hmm. those jobs, you know, uh, to come to our platform. Okay. Uh, the second thing is, um, how do we control the quality of performance of, on those tasks? which is, let's say, when somebody, let's say, you know, I saw the video and Masivo mentioned about formatting Excel, right? So, so formatting Excel, um, let's say, from what you understand versus what I understand versus what the task giver understand, uh, there has to be some sort of a consensus, okay? So, um, but more importantly, how do we ensure that the quality is not compromised or at least there's certain level of quality is there? Okay, that's going to be the second one. The third one is going to be how do we um, uh, how do we get people attracted to the platform? Um, meaning, what will it? You know, so obviously they will have um, uh, you know for for the people there is an opportunity where they can work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then uh, the question is going to come in is how long can you make or keep the platform attractive? Okay. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you look at some of the existing platforms like Upwork, you know, or uh, uh, some of the other crowdsourcing platforms, they're already doing that. Okay. And they're charging some sort of a fee, right? Uh, to think that we're the only one who, who, who's thinking about the platform is not necessarily the right thinking, you know, because uh, when I mentioned this to Devyani, she already mentioned about somebody else who's trying to create a similar platform or has created a similar platform. I don't know the details, but yeah. But most important thing is, uh, because we are trying to look at creating a platform, what is important is the supply and the demand side, they both need to accelerate around the same time, you know, and I'll give you an analogy of an e-commerce platform, okay? So if in an e-commerce platform, if you have, um, um, if you have uh, a lot of suppliers and not enough buyers, then the suppliers lose interest, okay? On the other side, if you have a lot of buyers and not many suppliers, then buyers lose interest. Okay, so that's why you need to have both of them kind of go hand in hand. So, for example, for the, uh, so one needs to think of like a beta stage where at least 100 jobs and at least 500 people need to get up the platform before it becomes officially released or whatever, you know. Um, uh, so, so the MVP, the minimum viable product is going to be extremely important to define and, uh, uh, you know, so, so these, these are the things that were coming to my head when I was thinking about it. I said, you know, yes, we need to get started somewhere, but these are the things that we need to start thinking uh, the moment we start stepping onto the next stage, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, took, I took some notes about, you know, basically the questions that you mentioned and then the consideration uh, yeah. in the document now. Yeah. Um, one of the thoughts that came to mind is that Maybe we don't necessarily want to create a new platform, uh -huh. uh, but more to introduce a new type of offering on the existing platform because this hackathon that we're doing has yeah. about 100 partners. Mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, we, you know, work, uh, work up or uh, up work uh, or something. Some yeah, up work. Yeah, you platform Yeah, is is already part of it. Okay. Is, okay. Is there's a possibility. So, uh, yeah. I think. What we try to focus um, in this 
uh, in this time frame and yep. in this team is the concept that there can be new types of tasks for yep. a new type of uh, person. So mm -hmm. it is not a long-term job. There is no solicitation process. It is, but that that is not something that's out there because we had one of the one of the people look. I think Michael was looking for alternatives that already exist, and so far she hasn't found anything that resembles that that simplicity. Right. So so um, um, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to work with Upwork. Um, okay. So because uh, we do get some work done from Upwork. So Upwork essentially is a, a, a database of freelancers and solopreneurs um, mm -hmm. who do tasks, you know, and jobs. Okay. When I say tasks and jobs, meaning a, a large number of them are kind of roles that can be, or tasks that can be done in an hour or two hours or whatever, right? Um, and, and typically what you do is you go and advertise what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. You post it and uh, the platform throws in some recommendations, but you could also do your own search and you may like people. So it's almost like going to LinkedIn, going through a LinkedIn search and trying to figure out who is the right person who can do your job. You know, so that's how uh, Upwork does. Um, so you have both the advertisements of jobs. So if you are somebody who's an entrepreneur or a freelancer, you can actually go in and look for what are the jobs available and then, uh, you know, then apply for it. And then um, on the other side, uh, the people who are posting their jobs also have the opportunity to look at some of the profiles and decide who they want to give. Yeah. So. So basically we can just use some platform as long as we find a way to make it legitimate. Correct. Right. So the funding mechanism and the reward mechanism is what's important. Yeah. And, but we can, we can, for the sake of a prototype, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, because it would be, it would be ridiculous to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Correct. I, I was, Correct. I was thinking something in the line of a job board. So, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm looking at yeah. I'm looking at the Upwork site right now, and and indeed, if if we can integrate, you know, they have these little boxes, what kind of talent or agency, whatever um, you're looking for, or you can offer. If we can introduce one box that says, um, the the whole point is that if it's give, if the jobs are given by government, the government can have agreements with uh, with the partners who will provide um, the the reward in kind. Yeah, because the businesses cannot provide the reward in kind, and, right? And that's that's basically the main the main uh, essence of right. this whole thing. So that if the government has a fund allocated to, um, you know, to I mean, public payments with these partners, and then we just have this extra new box on the Upwork side, which would say uh, government uh, government tasks, and then Correct. that would just you know but i i agree with your previous uh, ch the challenges you mentioned previously you know how yeah. do we create those tasks yeah. and how do we agree on the quality i think that that's for the people who will, re will be recipients that will be the most pressing. Yeah, absolutely and that's why um, i think uh, you know uh, yeah, so maybe it's an idea for you to just go through some of the pieces on at upwork and then you know and then we can reconnect you know maybe later in the day uh, to see how, uh, to Masimo's point, uh, how can we already leverage what's there in an existing platform, um, and uh, you know, uh, instead of reinventing the wheel, uh, what you know, and Upwork is not the only platform. There are other platforms as well, uh, but uh, um, uh, you know, um, just see how they're grading people who are providing services, etc. Um, and, uh, you know, when will the payment or the thing is going to be released uh, when the submission is done or when the client approves or whatever, you know, so there is a mechanism, there's a whole logic which is there and it's already exists in, in platform like Upwork. So, so that's something that needs to be done. From our perspective, I think the question is going to be that we can be um, uh, um, uh, what is known as in, in this uh, um, 
in this uh, digital let's say uh, area are we going to be just an aggregator or are we going to also have some sort of a value add okay so meaning aggregator meaning that we get the jobs and we give it to people and we're just the platform so we're just trying to get the two populations on the platform right whereas the value add could be that what is it that we do up and beyond just aggregating you know and that's going to be a true value add and i think the altered contacts think tank each one of us bring in a lot more let's say uh, a, a lot of gray cell experience a lot of you know and that's where uh, it could be some sort of a kind of adding on mentoring or helping people getting skilled or something else by which they can not only do the job which is there but also can do it better and you know so i think that is something we should look at mining how are you going to mine the alter context think tank uh, beyond the just the aggregation mm -hmm. yeah so for the sake of the hackathon yeah for the sake of the hackathon we continue as per the process that we have there that is <clears throat> the process using the jamboard yeah um, and I think some of the things I was thinking now that you were talking resonate with some of the posts that I actually praised. Because in one, I said, I st uh, one of the uh, ways of looking at how it looks like when it's implemented is uh, I can continue developing myself while mm -hmm. I am during the crisis. Yeah. 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 And I mean, that is absolutely there. Mm. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm saying. I'm saying. So. So let's take an example where in uh, you know let's take an example from our program management days, right? So there would be a team which would actually ex execute upon or implement upon, and then we would be there to ensure the right, let's say, right uh, time intervention or coaching or mentoring for the team to actually perform, right? And that's where I believe, even in the current um, frame, in the current context, that's something that if it was possible to include, I think we should include it, you know? So not just skilling for the future, but mentoring for the present, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. In, in theory, we, we, we have to at least show what are the components as a prototype by right. tomorrow. Yeah. Right, so. Mm. Okay, um, well then we just have to continue following up. And, but I think uh, uh, what, what you mentioned, Danirvan, is, is really important as well. I mean, we do need to look, you know, so we, we are focusing on 48 hour hackathon. Uh, yeah. And I see that you're already looking, when it gets implemented, what, what, what role do we play? What, how do we go beyond just this weekend? And I think yeah. it's also very important to think about that. I think. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe... I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess. Uh, um, so what I'm trying to say here is that purely from a value proposition, for, from our perspective, mm -hmm. I want us to go beyond just the aggregation. You know, because let's say, let's say, um, uh, at this point in time. Uh, we say, yeah, uh, to the government agencies, to the municipalities, the Khamen, the saying, you give your jobs to us. We're going to put, the, put it onto this platform and we're going to get the people who are going to do it, okay? Um, and, and so that can be done by um, several other people. I guess a true value add of alter contacts, and I'm not saying this is not a value add, so don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is, um, uh, can we do a value add through saying that we'll also mentor it through versus uh, here's a platform uh, that we are suggesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the okay. way, so I, I'm not I... trying to put pressure on you guys like because it's uh, 48 hours, so you can only do so much. Um, but uh, yeah. But yeah, but at the end, we can oh, clearly we cannot design the whole platform and make it running. And you know, because we don't have enough time to do the customer interviews, we don't have enough time to to even speak to the government about the aspects of legal. You know how legally possible that is. And, yeah. But 
we definitely can place some sort of map with different quadrants and how you know it all fits together and what would be the you know cross cell up cell and i took a note uh, of what you said yeah uh, but maybe if if you have time maybe you can go on daisy lab um there's a link in the document to daisy labs uh, where where you can actually add the post-its with with those key thoughts uh -huh. which will then integrate i think yeah uh, and that is the next step in the process yeah because there's because we, and nadia massimo and fabrizio already participated i'm in the process and um yeah so that could be a, a more visual board where we work. right yeah yeah once okay. we have at least five people participating then we can start adding the, the post-its to the to the second page of the board mm -hmm. right to, to see the actions okay. for implementation and the instructions to the board is also in in the documents or there's a daisy lab a link and they, it explains everything in the document very simple right okay yeah i'll do that yeah thank you very it's much nice to, it's nice to see you yes, yes. <laughs> all right